James Andre, thank you very much for joining us here on TVP World today. Thank uh, you for having me. We appreciate it. Now, um, a lot of us here in Poland, especially in the region, are wondering about the French reaction to Macron's uh, suggestion that NATO troops could not only be present in Ukraine, but fulfill um, some roles. Of course, it's all been taken to non-combat roles. Uh, but just really, what is the feeling both amongst the political ruling class in, in, in France and again amongst the, 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 the population? Yes, well, indeed, what Emmanuel Macron said uh, in that press conference at the end of this uh, conference, which 21 heads of state attended, uh, where it was a question of what to do next, and very clearly, you know, the signals of uh, the government have been that there needs to be a stronger reaction. Now, we've had a vote here uh, in Parliament a couple of days ago asking what the members of Parliament here in France thought of uh, the package uh, that France has signed with Ukraine. This is a bilateral security deal uh, that will span about 10 years and include some uh, uh, armament, but also uh, reconstruction and potential political help to join NATO and the EU. Well, this vote came in uh, with an overwhelming yes. Uh, that's uh, 372 votes to 99. And that was uh, yeah, a couple of days ago uh, in uh, the National Assembly. Uh, but it's important to know that two of the main uh, political parties here in France, that's the extreme right with the national rally, decided to abstain, and the extreme left, that is France and Belgium, decided uh, to vote against uh, this uh, this aid package, this uh, this deal, bilateral deal between France and Ukraine. Now, you know, I had the opportunity to speak to the leaders of these parties, and what they say is that, well, there are red lines. Uh, they say, well, if you take the extreme left, for example, uh, La France Insoumise, so that's France Unbowed, well, uh, the head of that party was telling me that he considered that he doesn't want uh, to have a war between France and Russia, that he agrees to, of course, helping Ukraine as much as possible, but he doesn't want to get France involved directly in the war, because he says, and I quote, this could give us a nuclear conflict. He also says that for him, Ukraine joining NATO and joining the EU is a red line. Now, those are pretty much the same red lines on the other side of this political spectrum with the national rally. When it comes to the French population, I'd say uh, the reaction is m mitigated, if you will. Uh, uh, people look at all this happening, feel that maybe Emmanuel Macron is uh, uh, going too quickly and being very forceful in his positions. He really has shifted gears here. And some people are looking that cautiously. Others uh, believe that, yes, it is time that indeed uh, Europe and France did more in order to help Ukraine win this war. And just very briefly, because we're short on time, in advance of the Weimar Triangle meeting tomorrow, are we expecting France to shift closer to Poland's uh, approach uh, to supporting Ukraine, moving away from Germany's approach? Maybe even convincing well, Germany uh, to step up. Well, Emmanuel Macron during that press conference said something which was quite interesting because, you know, he basically said that there was no consensus at this stage to send uh, troops uh, on the ground in Ukraine. But what he did say is that, you know, Germany, for example, had said no to long range missiles and then no to tanks and then uh, no to drones and no to planes and that all this is happening. So he says, you know, maybe uh, the next step will indeed be boots on the ground. His position is to say uh, there must be no red lines. We are faced with Vladimir Putin, who has no red lines. So we have to put all options on the table. Now, yes, that means that this is a position that probably appeals more to Eastern Europe at this stage, indeed countries uh, like Poland, but also uh, countries in Northeastern Europe. When it comes to Western Europe countries, of course, there is more caution because there's more distance. But it does feel uh, that Emmanuel Macron is changing his position, saying that Russia is more aggressive, both militarily, but also when it comes to the information sphere or in the cyber uh, uh, universe, and that this needs to be stopped. And he is a firm believer that indeed Russia must be must must lose in Ukraine, and it must be a clear defeat. Okay. Well, James Andre from France 24, uh, thank you very much for shedding light on this topic.